Welcome to your source for research, innovation, news insights, and commentary. This is your Research Business Daily Report, where we're sponsored today and this week by USAMP, the Answer Network, offering technology solutions as well as survey respondents for both consumer and business insights. We're going to spend our time with you today looking at the marketing-market research relationship. First, from Acton Software, which is a cloud-based marketing automation software company. It came out with several interesting marketing observations and predictions about what's coming in 2014. One of the projections got me to stop and reread it several times. Now, I know that many of you are just dog-tired to hear a 10,000th mention of big data, but as you heard from Elizabeth McNair, yesterday, it's going to gain a newfound sense of reality in the coming year. Says Acton Software, quote, there will be a change in sentiment towards the term big data, but it's going to go beyond that. Companies will want to address the right, most actionable data that answers their specific questions and helps them effectively drive their business forward. Not all data matters. A lot of it is just noise. It's not going to be about big marketing data next year. It's going to be about the right marketing data, end of quote. Let's move on to an important conversation that I had with Jeff Winsper. He's the president of Black Inc. Put aside your holiday planning for the next four minutes and take a listen. Jeff has 20 years of experience in marketing under his belt, and he's a fountain of knowledge about marketing and its relationships with all kinds of internal departments, including research. And he admitted to us that marketing, unfortunately, vastly underutilizes marketing research. I think the general attitude is that marketing research uh, again, depending on the category you're in, market research usually is information shared from today and the past, and it's not necessarily a forward-looking view. So I think what's happening with the market research department as a whole is it's being sort of marginalized. If you look at how the investment spend around marketing is applied towards market research, it's a very, very small fraction, which is unfortunate, quite candidly. It should be actually just the reverse because marketing should be ahead of the game. But in general, the market research group is still considered uh, a marginalized uh, department. Again, depending on the category. CPG organizations, not so much. Other organizations like B2B, very much. There's a distinct difference between market research and, let's say, real-time analytics. At least I'm characterizing it that way. When you conduct a market research study, whether it's qualitative or quantitative by nature, it takes time. So a person may have a question Okay, that was, let's say, today. By the time the study is conducted, it could take five days, ten days, or it could take six months. Unfortunately, the world changes very rapidly. So the output of that research may actually be very accurate from the time in which it was conducted, not necessarily the time in which um, you, you received it. So that makes it challenging. So I think if you're an analytics group, then at that point you're thinking about predictive analytics and you're also using back, uh, back information. And with the combination of both, it's much more powerful. I would also suggest that marketing today is it actually the enviable position where it's having conversations with consumers directly today. Mm. All the social media outlets and all the digital. Not have, no, the research department not taking advantage of that in real time makes it challenging if they're using old techniques and processes. If you were going to advise a research department on how to become more of a factor uh, in their company, would there be a handful of kind of ground rules that you would say that here's what, here's what you've got to change? All things being equal, if the culture, a degree of collaboration, and an understanding and a commitment to what research can do, if those things being equal, if I were in charge of a market research department, I would look at what the world would be in 10 years not what the world is today. And what I mean by that is, how are people making decisions, both the consumer as well as the executive? And what can you do to make sure you have better practices, technology to support you, certainly the skill sets and resources, and proactive outbound communication to the executives that matter most versus perhaps a reactive moment in time that explains only things that happened in the past. The consumer is changing so rapidly that you got to understand where they're going to be six months or a year from now, and then also maybe you can figure, okay, ten years ago, here's a kind of a dartboard guess as to 
where they're going to be. Isn't that the reality of, of today's market as well? Yeah, it, it's, um, it's spooky fast. <clears throat> Researchers used to think in bands, age bands, uh, of generations. Uh, and that's fair when you're looking at the, perhaps, let's say, baby boomers and above. Mm-hmm. You're looking at Gen X and Gen Y. You have to look at age bands in months. The adoption cycle and their behavior of, uh, of uh, products changes dramatically. So all the more reason that when you're doing the analysis for, say, product adoption or churn or acquisition, it, a, a 17-year-old acts very, very differently than, let's say, a 13-year-old. And you see that today. You, in fact, you can even see, for example, age bands where people are starting to drop off on Facebook at a certain age group yeah. and maybe perhaps the technology that's lifting up. Mm-hmm. So a market research, right, should definitely take advantage of the real-time information in the communications and conversations that occur through call centers, through their social media, the digital behavior, yep. through their POS, capture it. Because if you can take that and package it up and provide it to executive management, you will elevate your value tremendously very quickly. So the question is, is there somebody I respect that actually does both pretty well? Yeah, yeah, where research and marketing are really doing a bang-up job and they're doing it together. Mm-hmm. There's a couple that come to mind, and they're actually um, on a council with me called the Marketing Accountability Standards Board. I would say Miller Coors does a good job, and I would say Frito-Lay does a great job. We'll have great additional comments from Jeff when we come back after the holidays, so be prepared for those in early January. In the meantime, if you'd like to reach out and touch Jeff, here's his email address, jwinsper at winsper.com. That's your Research Business Daily Report, sponsored by USAMP, the Answer Network, offering technology solutions as well as survey respondents for your consumer and business insights. Have a great research day, and we'll see you here tomorrow with our annual Executive of the Year, Conference Presentation of the Year, and Client Market Researcher of the Year awards. Please don't miss it.